you say that Brand new games, brand new Maybach Got brand new friends for way back If you my son can't change it Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Summon Vita. I make a lot of fitness and lifestyle content and today I'll be taking you through my iconic 4.30 a.m. routine. Today I actually woke up a few minutes later because typically I will snooze my alarm once and then wake up at 4.40. Most people say don't snooze your alarm but I feel like that just helps me wake up. If I'm in the middle of a dream when my alarm goes off, I'm going to be super foggy when I wake up so snoozing it just helps me finish sleeping. My reasoning is so specific but it works for me and I like to listen to my body so doing this is perfect for me I always get the question of whether or not I actually wake up at 4.30 a.m. every day or just on school days or days that I'm going to the gym and the answer to the question is yes and no. My alarm is set to 4.30 a.m. On days that I'm going to the gym, like today, I will only allow myself to snooze once. On Tuesdays, which are my rest days, I'll also usually wake up at 4.40 and then weekends, sometimes I'll wake up at 4.40 but, but if I sleep later than normal, I'll probably wake up no later than 5.30 a.m. I like to have structure while also being flexible. And yes, I do take naps. For me, I'd rather wake up and get an early start to the day and then take a nap. It just makes me feel so much more accomplished. Something that I added from my high school morning routine to my college morning routine is yoga and meditation. In high school, I went straight from my bed to the gym and that was exhausting. But now that I'm in college and my classes start later, I can practice 30 minutes of mindfulness before I start my day and get stimulated. And this is also a good way to help me wake up. Sometimes I'll do yin yoga if I'm feeling super sleepy or a slow flow. Yoga is my time to relax, so I prefer doing slower flows over fast vinyasa. Can't play both ways Wet dreams fried her brain all day And she been on my mind all day And I can't seem to get away I know, I know I've been on your mind I'm getting sick of all these lies How many times could we say goodbye and my sick little twisted lullaby Swear to God the I will get ready for the gym. A lot of people want to start working out, especially in January, so my tip is to find someone that will walk with you to the gym or meet you there. As soon as someone else is there, you feel so much more accountable to be there. On another note, I get a lot of questions about my activewear. My top is from the Whitney Simmons collections. I'm not too sure if it's still sold on the Gymshark website. And then my bottoms are the Vital Seamless ones from Gymshark. I never I've added a few new things into my morning routine and one of them is taking vitamins. D3 and B12 is good to have, especially for vegans. I used to be super disciplined about taking my vitamins, but then I kind of fell off. I want to make sure I'm getting these vitamins frequently, if not every morning. And then I went to the gym and today I was hitting full body. I'm currently following the Natasha Ocean workout program and I love it. The moves are pretty hard and they make me use muscles I never felt. I really like how challenging it is because then I don't feel bad if I didn't lift super heavy. The night I met you, as you said, you like how I do this, you said it's a vibe, it's a mood, you probably never in your life thought I like that this workout program focuses on functionality rather than just pure weightlifting. Over here I'm doing push-ups, I try to focus on form so that's why I'm looking up and then I also put a 10 pound plate on my back to make the movement harder. That way I can progressive overload, which allows for muscle growth. I didn't show this but after I work out I always stretch and then walk back to my dorm 
arm or sometimes I'll walk back and then stretch there. A minimum three minutes of slow breathing and lowering the heart rate is necessary before moving on to your next, next task. Stretching is a great way to incorporate those two things. Good morning guys. Today is Friday. I love Fridays, but I'm not gonna lie. I wanna be honest here. My mood is not that great because yesterday it was just a rough night, but trying to be positive and the weather's good. I'm gonna list out five things that are positive right now. The weather's good. It's sunny outside and it's been rainy, so this is really nice. I'm going back home today, so I get to see my dog. And it's Friday, so that means that the weekend's coming, so yay. And then four, I've been really productive, so I'm really proud of myself. And five, I got this new Brazil body butter and if you guys know i love the body butter so the body oil is so nice i tried it yesterday i love it so yeah those are five positives i feel better already and i'm gonna take a shower and eat breakfast so yeah and i had a good workout so overall feeling so much better than i did waking up so yeah just ate breakfast and I just ate like random stuff because I have to like get rid of every or like most of my stuff before I leave so I just ate like um overnight oats and bread and then now I have a protein shake like a pre-made one so I'm gonna eat drink that too I don't know if I'm gonna drink it now or after but we'll see but now I'm gonna do my hair This is the fit for today, this top and these bottoms are both from Hollister. And obviously I'm gonna wear a jacket because it's too cool to just go out like this. I don't know what I'll what jacket I'll wear, but I'll decide. I'm currently reading Crown of Midnight and it's so good. It's down the windows, but... Guys, I finished class. I just have chemistry for today and really nice so I can go home. And I made my schedule like this so I can go home early instead of like waiting. But yeah, now I'm gonna do my laundry and I'm gonna probably end off the vlog here because I have to do my laundry really quick take a quiz and then i'm gonna clean our room and then i have to eat lunch and then go so it's gonna be very busy but thank you guys so much for watching it means a lot and i will see you guys in the next video Catch me, girl, me